Well, hello, friends. My name is Steve Elisha, and I'm a member of the worship team here at Village 7 Presbyterian Church. And uh, you may have seen me while we've been doing these online broadcasts, uh, as well as uh, uh, the live ones, too, seeing me up here singing as part of the worship team. Um, or you might have even picked me out as part of the choir back when we had choir uh, and not, not having choir because of the virus. At any rate, I've been asked to introduce myself to you and to uh, uh, tell you a little bit more about myself. So I've been coming to Village 7 for roughly, I don't know, three years, but singing in the choir. Uh, did a couple of the uh, Christmas uh, cantatas with uh, the um, Handel's Messiah that we did a few years back. So I would say singing in choir on and off for about five years. All told, I've been singing for most of my life, whether uh, in in a choir setting, choral, uh, quintet, quartet, barbershop, I've done it all. Um, solos, duets, that sort of thing. So, uh, very experienced in the vocal department. Um, a typical day, so what does a typical day look like for me? Well, I work at United States Space Command on Peterson Air Force Base as a defense contractor. So, for the most part, I'm sitting in front of a computer either on an unclassified, a classified, or a top secret level computer, uh, typing away or reading, or doing PowerPoint. Uh, that's something that uh, every military officer gets very proficient at um, in short order. Um, what are my hobbies? Well, I grew up in Toronto, Canada, and, and therefore I am a huge hockey and baseball fan. Um, so that keeps me happy year round, but besides that, here in Colorado, uh, I've taken to hiking quite a bit and photography, doing a lot of nature uh, pictures. And then I'm the father of eight children, so love to take pictures of my kids as well. Although they're not really kids anymore. They're ranging in age from 25 down to 13. And yes, they're all ours, six girls and two boys. And no, we're not Mormon. And yes, we do have a TV. I'm sure that was going to be on your list of questions for me. Uh, what type of music do I like to listen to? Well, I do really enjoy listening to choral music, uh, choirs from around the world. Um, I'm a little bit odd in that regard. I do love listening to Welsh choirs, uh, especially in competition shows like America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent, that kind of thing. Um, but besides that, some of the maybe uh, the contemporary Christian music from maybe the 70s and 80s. So anything from Keith Green to Steve Green, no relation to each other, um, as well as the Imperials, um, and then going forward from there, uh, various Christian artists, I enjoy listening to them. Um, and I'm a big, big, big Elvis fan too. So if I had my pork chops down to here, I could put on a bit of an Elvis impersonation for you. Uh, what is my favorite praise song or hymn and why? That's a tough question. I grew up with the hymnal and it really all depends on what mood I'm in or uh, uh, where I happen to be in that particular season of life. It could be anything from holy, holy, holy all the way to how great thou art to um, uh, just and anything in between from Christmas songs, resurrection songs, um, love them all. Uh, what has been my biggest struggle? Well, having quiet time uh, can be a struggle for me sometimes. Staying uh, in that habit of reading my Bible and, and then, of course, taking it, digesting it, and then applying it to my life. Um, but I think that that is an ongoing struggle even for the most seasoned saints that we have. What Bible verse has helped me the most? Hmm, good question. Um, and I guess that varies also from time to time, but let me pick Romans chapter 1 verse 16 which says I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes to the Jew first and then to the Greek um, and indeed I have had opportunities to share my faith and to live my faith in many countries around the world uh, partly as a result of uh, military deployments but also um, my wife and I were tent making missionaries in the Middle East and we were in the Muslim world and uh, we learned to not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, what do I enjoy the most about being on worship team? Well, I certainly love 
harmonizing with others. So then the fellowship, there's kind of a bond that we have here, not only just with the singers, but the musicians themselves. We've really enjoyed interacting with Greg and with Andrew, uh, and Andrew's bride too, Nina. Um, so I have really enjoyed that. And so there's that kinship that we have from, from singing together and playing together. Why did you decide to join the worship team? Basically because I was asked but I wouldn't have turned it down anyway. I probably would have volunteered at some point along the line, but that's just a secret between you and me, okay? Why should someone else join the worship team? That is a terrific question because none of us are exempt from worship. None of us are exempt from serving the body of Christ. We all have been called to serve in one fashion or another. Now, if you have even the most remote musical talent at all, in my case, I happen to be a world famous triangle player. Um, and, and you may have seen me, well, never mind, you probably haven't, uh, and you probably don't have any of my triangle CDs. But uh, if you have any musical inclination whatsoever, I do encourage you to get with Greg and, uh, and, and be willing to come up here. And even if you're um, not a frontline singer, uh, you might be back here in the back row where I am, your talents will not go to waste and be greatly appreciated especially when you consider that you're helping to lead others in the worship of the living God of the universe. What final word of encouragement do I have for you? Um, well, let me think. How about the words given to Joshua? Uh, several times in Joshua's commission, Joshua chapter 1, are the words, be strong and courageous. These are certainly challenging times for us, not only with uh, regards to the virus and the challenges that go along with that, but as you can see from reading the news, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, pull in a direction that uh, we really, I really don't want to go uh, in terms of the culture of this country and uh, the erasing of history. So be strong and courageous. Be willing to stand up for what you believe. I think that ties in very uh, nicely with the Romans chapter 1 verse 16 verse that I shared with you earlier. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope all of you are doing well and coping. Um, if you do have any needs at any time, please feel free to reach out to another believer around you, whether or not they attend here at Village 7 Church. Thank you. Bye.